Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well. Today I'm doing another declutter video and this time it's going to be some more complexion products, specifically bronzers, powders, and face palettes. My goal is not to be ruthless and get rid of a lot of things, but just really clear out those things that I know I don't have an interest in using, I don't particularly enjoy using, and um, there's, there's a few of them and they're taking up space. So if you like declutters as much as I do, I hope you will stay tuned and we'll get into the declutter. One more thing to say before we get started is I have a bin next to me and what I'm going to be doing with anything I declutter is I'm going to put it in the bin. So it's not going anywhere right away. I'm not putting it in the trash. I'm not selling it or giving it away unless I really want to do that up front. Because I do know from past declutters that sometimes there's something that I get rid of and then like a month later, I like, oh, I want it. I realize I'm interested in that and I want it. So I want to reserve that ability for me to get that back, right? But if I clear things out and I find that I'm not even thinking about these products, I don't even remember I have them until I go and look in the bin, that's really a good sign that they really should go. And where they're going to go is um, I always give away to my family, my niece, um, some co-workers, and I really, really, really I'm trying to set up a, a site on Mercari to sell things. I love Mercari. I get a lot of things off there and I really want to sell. So hopefully this will be the one that'll get that done. Um, okay, let's go into the products. I'm gonna... Okay, here are the face palettes that I want to talk about. And why don't we start with Hourglass? So I have three, as you see here. I bought these two. These were Holiday 2022, and this one was Holiday 2023. So in 2022, I did not know that you could customize your face palette by getting the inside you want in the outer packaging that you want. So uh, because I didn't know that and because my eyes were bigger than my head and I was in that frame of mind of wanting everything and, you know, fear of missing out, I went in store and they had these and I bought two of them. I didn't like the inside of the tiger but I love the outside, right? I wasn't crazy about the elephant, but I like the inside better. So silly, silly, stupid, stupid rationale for all of it. Now, the tiger, I find this is just too dark for me, right? You don't need to see my chin. Too dark for me. Um, it's beautiful, but... I've used it somewhat, but I, I just don't use it. And this is one I can very easily say is going to go, and I am going to put this on Mercari. That's, that's a given. I'm not even, uh, I don't even have to think about that one. So we're starting off good. That one's going. And then here is the elephant. And I dropped it right after I got it. So um, this one you see there you see the waffle so I dropped it and I dropped that is the um, finishing power dim light so probably one of the things I would definitely want to use I dropped this um, these blushes are nice I've used them but it's a little washed out on camera but this one's pink this one is more of a coral kind of pink so they're kind of similar to each other the the bronzer is good it's okay you know I, I've used it, but I'm never quite happy with it. I, what I really wanted was the 
butterfly one, but I didn't like the butterfly outside. Did I say that? I don't remember. Okay, so then when the last holiday came around, this time I knew what to do. I wanted uh, the jellyfish inside and I wanted the owl outside special packaging. And so this one I like a lot. This one I like both of the blushes. Um, they're very different. This one's sort of like a pinky, like a warm pink, and this one's a cool pink. I don't know if you can see that. But they're very nice. They're very soft. I like the bronzer. I like the finishing powder. Actually, this finishing powder, I don't know if you can see, it's been worn down some, and there's some little holes in it. I don't know if that's just when it's being baked that there's just some air pockets that are in it that show up. So this one's already kind of flattened out. Um, I like this highlighter very much. So this one... This one I've used, I used it in, I think, either a Shop My Stash, I think Shop My Stash um, recently, and I really enjoyed it. So I think I am also going to get rid of this one. I'm just not crazy about it. I'll put it on Mercari for something very discounted, very reasonable, and hopefully somebody can really love it. Because uh, each one of these, I think it was something like $90. I mean, not cheap. So... You know, no offense to my family or friends, but if I can get some money back on these, that's what I'm going to try to do. So to start out, those two palettes are going in the bin. I'll wait and see if I want them, want to use them. I highly doubt it, and I'm probably going to sell them. And then this one I will keep. Um, I really enjoy this one, and the owl packaging is... Um, I love it. It's really special to me. My mom loved and collected owls, and so my sisters and I do as well. So this one is staying, and we have two going. So we're off to a great start. Okay, now let's talk about Natasha Denona. I have two face palettes. I have the Glam Face Palette and then the Hypernatural Face Palette. So the Glam Face Palette came out, I think, in 2022. Or 23 uh, I'm not sure but before this one and this is the hypernatural face palette that came out earlier this year so let's start by talking about the glam I got the lighter version and I took it with me a number of times when I was traveling and I just am not I wasn't crazy about it these are kind of warm colors the shimmers are very beautiful, but I mean, look at that. They're very beautiful, but I prefer, you know, for a gold, I like a little more of a champagne-y kind of gold, silvery kind of um, look. So I thought it was very warm. And this blush here is, it's, it's like a, a cream. It's not like a cream. It is a cream. And... For the tools that I brought to use, it just didn't work well. I would need a different brush. It's a, you know, would probably be perfectly fine, but um, I guess I could have even used this highlight as a eyeshadow, right? That's probably what I should have done. Of course, it occurs to me now. So I'm not crazy about it. Um, the benefits of this, like all Natasha Denona... Oh, actually, excuse me. I don't know if... I don't know if things can pop out of this one, can they? I wonder if you put... I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments, or I could always try to figure it out after this video. But anyway... This one, I, I just I kind of have so-so feelings, right? Now, this one came along this year, and I wasn't going to get it because I wasn't crazy about this one. Quality is great in everything. It's just not the, the colors that I prefer. Then this one came out, and I wasn't going to get it, but then I heard, um, I remember it was Simply Blair who liked it, some other people who liked it, so I thought I would get it, and I'm really glad I did. I 
like these types of shades. I like the blush shades. I like the bronzer in here because for me, I can use this as eyeshadow with this as a topper. I can use it as the bronzer. I can use it in my eyebrows. If, if I did that, I don't really do that. And I'm hoping to run and get my brows tinted again today. Um, but I really enjoyed this one and, and I took it on vacation last week. I used it every day. I really, really enjoyed using it. Where can I put it? Let me put it right here. And yeah, I love it. I love it. I really love it. I even use this as an eyeshadow one day and, uh, put dreamy on top of it. So I like that it's smaller, right? Then this one, I like that it has the holes in the back. Then I can, if I want, exchange um, other shades to go into it from other midi palettes. So I think this is really great. And I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to also pass this one along. I will see if one of my sisters or my niece wants it. But if not, then I'm going to sell that one. Then... This brings us, now we have three. So here's my NARS face palette, and this is from Holiday 2023. This is All That Glitters. I was not, um, I got this for, I had for like six weeks of Beauty Channel last year, and I was buying makeup and unboxing it on the videos. That was the point of the channel, and then I realized that was a, not a good idea for me because it was very expensive and I just did not want to be under the pressure of being some kind of beauty YouTuber expert. Um, so I stopped the channel. I took everything down. But this is one of the items that I bought to open on that channel. And I wasn't really crazy about it, but I put it, I think through Deck of Panning, I used it you know, it was an item that I forced myself to use, and I said I was going to use every shade at least two times, right? And for a total, I think of 12 uses or 10 uses, something like that. I don't remember. And by using it, I found I really, really liked it. This is a very nice bronzer shade, right? Um, running out of some room. Nice bronzer shade, not too warm on me. This is, this is a blush, and in the pan it looked like it was very orange. I wouldn't really like it, but actually sheared out it was actually quite pretty, and I often would mix these two together, right? I don't know if you can see that with the light, but trust me, right? So that's like a, a very pale peachy. This one's a little more of a shimmery, so... I can use this one with this one as a topper, or I would mix the two together, which is what I would do most often. This is a nice highlighter. You know, it's just a gold highlighter. And this this was a holiday palette, so I think a gold highlighter kind of makes sense for that. This red, um, you see, it's very, it's very shiny, but again, as a topper, um, I thought it was really pretty. And then this lavender... This lavender I really like, sort of like a glowy lavender. And this reminds me of the um, one of the new Fenty blushes that came out that's sort of glowy. So I, uh, I, I ended up really enjoying it. I really, I really liked it. And I think I even used it more than I intended to. So this one, it's my long-winded way of saying this one is staying. Okay, now we're down to two. So this one from Kaleidos, this is a contour trio. And actually, excuse me, I just remembered I am missing, sorry, forgot about that one. We'll get back to it. Um, these powders are beautiful. They are so soft. It's a beautiful palette, but I just don't contour. I, um, it's just not something that I do. And so this is still in pretty nice shape. I'm, I'm definitely going to pass this along in the camera. It looks more, I'm looking at the screen. It looks more brown than it, 
does in person. It's much more of a gray, and um, I just don't really use it. It was something I shouldn't have gotten, but, you know, I was in that phase for about a year and a half when I wanted everything. So this one is going. Then here is this Laura Geller palette. This is the Shades of Nude. It has a blush, bronzer, highlighter in it. And I got this in Ross when I was on vacation in Colorado. I think I was in Denver. And, you know, it's a cream. They're all cream products. It's okay. It's okay. I used it. It works perfectly fine. But this is one of the things that I feel like I'm not... I'm not excited to use it, um, and I really firmly believe, I've said this before, makeup is something that should be fun and relaxing, and you're excited to use what you have. Um, it doesn't have to be luxury to be exciting, It just, you know, there's some things that you just love to use, and they make you happy, and this one, I feel like it's perfectly fine, but I'm just not excited about it. So... I'm going to get rid of this one just because I'm not excited about it. I have other things I would prefer to use and that I would enjoy um, a lot more. So this one I'm going to pass along. I don't know if anybody's going to want to buy this one. It does have a crack here. It's a cream product that's used, but, you know, we'll see. So that one's going. The last thing I have that I forgot to include is this Stick Contour by Victoria Beckham. I have mine in Travertine. And, you know, again, like I said, I don't really contour, but this one, I kind of like the style of it as this little pencil. And I actually think I'm going to use this more so as, um, was I able to see that? I'm not looking at the camera. I can use this as an eyeshadow, right? So I think that's what I'm going to do with it. Um, and I think, I think that'll go well. I have a couple of other Victoria Beckham stick eyeshadows and, um, singles that I think this would give a nice base to put those on top. So this I'm keeping, but I think I'm going to change how I'm using it from a contour to a, um, an eyeshadow. Okay. So I think, I think we did well. So we are getting rid of five and we are keeping four. And I think that's terrific. Okay. So here's my bronzers. I already talked about my face palettes that had bronzers in them. Uh, so I like those as well, but these are my individual. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is this guy here, right? This is the Gucci bronzer in the shade 01 Fair. I bought this maybe a couple of years ago. I decided I hated it because I thought it looked awful on me. And so I decluttered it, but I didn't really declutter it. I kept it in my drawer because it's Gucci and the packaging and I paid a lot for it, right? Then in holiday of, I guess, 23, they came out with this packaging. So they only released this packaging in shades one, which is this one, and three which is the one that I purchased. And there it is there. You see, it's much, much deeper. Look at that. Um, so I have used this one, and it is, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful bronzer. It's a little, it's a little deep, but it's good for me in summer. And also it's so smooth. It can buff away that it really, um, you know, it, it's pretty easy to control the amount of bronzing color that you have. I know it's a horrible swatch on my hand because the reality is I filmed this beginning and then my camera turned off on me. So I had to wipe off my swatches and now I'm 
making believe that this is the first time I'm doing it, but it's really the second. So anyway, there is the bronzer. I'm just keeping it real here, right? This one I've used, you know, quite a bit more and I don't know if you can see how much different it is. Can you see how much different it is? Um, this one is almost like a, you know, it's, it's really different. Anyway, I have, I have started using this one again this past month and I realized how to use it. I think this is best for winter when I'm most pale. I also used to be putting it in the wrong place on my face, which is why it looks so bad on me because I was learning. Now I have a better idea. So I actually like this as I wear it as an eyeshadow and a bronzer just to give my face a little color and I tend to do that on weekends. So I've actually come to like this one again. And I always say this, you know this if you've been to my channel, if you're first time seeing me um, on this video, I'll just let you know, I, I hate everything in the beginning. I always rip it to shreds and then I realize I made a mistake and I come around. I'd say 80% of the time, that's what happens. So that's what's, that's the story of this one. So this one, I need to use it when I'm pale. And I also like to use it for a kind of no makeup makeup look. I think it's really nice. And, and as you can see, the, the embossing on this one is almost worn away. Um, this one, not so much. I have used it, but I'm trying to rotate through. So both of these are staying, okay? This one's also staying. This is my Pat McGrath's bronzer. It is in Nude Honey. Uh, you see the embossing on this one is also almost worn away. And I think this one is really nice. It's kind of in the middle of the two Gucci's. It's not as deep as that one, but um, not as pale as the Gucci number one. And it's very nice bronzer. I like it a lot. So, um, and I like, I like Pat McGrath in general. So that one is staying, as is my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush bronzer. This is the powder version in shade number two, which is medium. This is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. And I, um, I think of all my bronzers, this is the one I probably used the most but it's, it's really, it's very nice. It's very nice. So that one is staying. Um, let's, what's something that we don't want to stay? Let's see. Let's talk about NARS. So I already showed you the NARS face palette that has this dark shade in here, which I guess for a deep skin tone could be, it's called, the shade is called Sabrina. It could be, um, a a blush shade on somebody with a darker skin tone, or it could be used as kind of like a glowy bronzer. Although it's not so glowy when you put it on, but um, you know, there it is there. I, um, so let me see. So I have that one already. And then these are both NARS Laguna. This one I found in Marshall's. And this one I found, uh, this one I bought in the regular store. This is the Laguna in the cream. And I, um, I really like, I really like this one. I just pulled a lot, so I don't put that much on. Um, here, let me shear it out a little. This is a, this is a very nice bronzer. I put too much on my swatch. Um, this is a very nice bronzer, right? So... God, this looks so yellow. It's driving me crazy. Ah, there we go. It was stuck on the warm setting. Okay, does that look a little better? Right? Okay, so this is the NARS from the face palette, which, you know, I, I think it's like a blush slash bronzer, but it's very different. It, it's got a little more of like an orange kind of tint to it. It's a little glowy. You know, mixing it with other shades in here gives a nice color bronze. So I don't need all three. So I'm going to get rid of this one um, because I do like the cream one 
this one's really nice. This was this one was one of the first bronzers that made me realize what bronzer should look like and why this one was not working for me. But now they both work for me, so I'm going to keep this one. Um, and then, like I said, we have this palette here. Um, oh, my Victoria Beckham Bronzing Brick. Mine is in the shade Sand and Soul. And this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I usually just put the two of them together. And, um, you know, there it is there. So they all kind of look the same, don't they? Which, you know, you can easily say you can just get rid of everything and keep one or two. But I'm not going to do that. I, I want to use these. I don't know if I'll ever get to use any or all of them up. But if I can get some pants and some of these. Um, bronzer is just one of those areas of makeup that I've come to really appreciate and, and enjoy it. Um, this is a mini Westman Atelier Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Biscuit. Okay, so this one is definitely a little cooler. And this could be used as a contour if I wanted, but, you know, could be also used as a bronzer and probably maybe a little better for uh, winter time based on the, the shade of it, but it's very nice. I like Westman Atelier makeup. Here is the Merit um, contour in clay. And I love Merit. I love this one because it is completely foolproof completely foolproof you can put it all over the place and it just it has a balmy kind of texture it just blends away so i really really like that one um this one from give beauty is this is toastin this is very nice Nothing wrong with it, but I think I am going to pass this one along just because, as you can see, I have a number of bronzers. Um, I don't, I need to clear out a little. I don't need this one. And there's nothing wrong with it. I don't like the little pans. Uh, it would just, for some reason, it just, I find it a little irritating. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And it's still in pretty good shape for somebody else to use. This one from Makeup by Mario, I wanted just because I really like his products and I wanted to try this one. So this is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light Medium. So this one is also like the Merit. It's sort of like a, a balmy kind of texture. I, I really like it. So that one stays. And then I finally have my House Labs. I have... Um, Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer in Light Level 2. And this is also a nice bronzer. They're all nice, right? I don't really have anything um, bad to say about any of them. And uh, I'm going to keep it. You know, like I said, I, I don't want to get rid of things for the sake of getting rid of them. But I think, you know, these two can go. So we're getting rid of two. So overall, this is what I am getting rid of. And I um, feel pretty good about that. These are things that definitely irk me a little bit when I look at them in my drawers. Perhaps in you know, another year's time or six months using some others of these bronzers. I might decide some of them I want to pass along, but right now um, I'm happy with just rotating through what I have. And there is enough of a variety here, you know, some a little cooler, some a little more balmy, some a little more powdery. This one's a little glowy um, to give me some variety depending on the time of year and what kind of look I'm going for. So that's how we're doing. Okay, so that's my video. Let me know how you think I did. Did I make some good decisions, bad decisions? 
Would you buy some of these products used on Mercari? Would you not? Um, I would love to know. And um, all of you who are doing declutters, I am watching and thoroughly enjoying them. So thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this and you can give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate that. If you can subscribe and join my family, I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get about 100 more subscribers by the end of the year. And all you have to do is just hit that subscribe button and it doesn't um, cost you anything. But otherwise, just I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you again in another declutter very soon.